Everybody. Welcome to the Bus King. In this little video I'm gonna tell you and show you a little something that happened uh, to do with my other ambition. Thijs Groen probeert dat op de 3000 meter, maar de atleet uit Zevenaar redt het net niet. So this is Dutch. I basically say that I am a single man and I am addicted to Tinder. So before I decided to focus on music the way I do now, I used to be an athlete. Uh, on national level. So I gained three national titles and uh, that was great. Until I went on holiday to Spain. That was in 2013. And then I was in Spain and I thought, oh, I want to live in the sun. I want to play guitar every day. It's so nice here, you know. So when I came back, I had a talk with my management and with my trainer. Very short talk. I said, look, I quit. I gotta go. The South is pulling on me. <laughs> So, um, I, uh, yeah, I went to Spain. And how cliché this may sound, it was a, a life uh, changer for me. I did not speak any Spanish, and uh, yet I, I found my way through, luckily. I got a lot of help from, from other nationalities that also spent their days in the same place where I was. Yes, I'm really happy. Yeah. He comes in every so often. He comes in, he gives a big hug. He's really a physical guy, and uh, he's always welcome in here because uh, he's one of the great guitarists. So uh, I, I discovered that I had a lot of free time, so I never really stopped running. I was running almost every day, you know, and I have my friends, many of them are athletes, so it also motivates when you talk about running all the time, you know. And one of my friends, he, Matthew Turnbull, he's a race director of uh, the Carlsbad 5000 meters and suddenly we have a talk and he says guys get yourself fit we go to Carlsbad we're gonna have a great time and I'm like Matthew you're talking about international top athletes I mean this is the fastest 5k race in the world with 20 athletes on the start line I don't belong there I never did belong there because I was not international top and he knows this, but he's like, Thijs, don't worry. I will get two other athletes that run slower than you do. That you won't be that lost. And we're going to have a great time. <laughs> you know? Take your guitar. Take your guitar. I know people. We will erase an amplifier. You can busk on the streets, play some gigs. I'll arrange stuff for you. It's going to be awesome. Like that. So I couldn't refuse. Um, I went to California with my guitar and my pair of shoes. I remember I was in the hotel, in my room. Suddenly I received a message, it was Matthew, hey, come down to the lobby, take your guitar. So I go down to the lobby with my guitar, he's there, hey, hey, are you coming? I said, what? Taxi's waiting, are you coming? I said, where are we going? To KUSI News, we have a television interview. <laughs> The 31st annual Carlsbad 5000 will be this Sunday. I'm joined by Matt Turnbull of the competitor group. And competitor, or running it, is uh, from the Netherlands, Tice Groen. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. It's called the fastest 5K in the world. Why? Well, we have events all over the world, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, from Mexico City to Lisbon, Madrid, and all over the states. Um, but the, f the real famous event throughout the sport is the Carlsbad 5000. It's the fastest, um, and quite frankly, it's because the people we put on the, on the start line are the best in the world. Now, Tyson, when we were looking for video of you running, we found a lot of this video. Take a look at this. And now prove that that is not some video trickery. Uh, you're incredible. So is it safe to say right now you're more musician than runner, or are you a runner who happens yes. to be a really good musician? Well, I'm a musician that runs. That, that's how I prefer to say it. Uh, and obviously, you're it's, you're not just a beginner. Could you? Could you
safe to say this is not this is more than a casual interest. I'm guessing you support yourself with your music right now, do you yes, not? Yes, I, I am. So does that take pressure off you as an as a runner where you don't yes. have to support yourself running? Yes, before I used to run that for also my finance. Uh, nowadays I just play music for my finance, so uh, running now feels more natural actually in a certain way. Yeah. S so uh, who's your, who are you influenced by as far as, name a guitarist that I'm going to recognize. Some okay, Jim Hendrix. Okay, everyone recognizes him. This was that. obviously not yeah, Jim yeah. Hendrix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just sad I don't remember uh, being that good. Uh, so it kudos to you. I, w w do you have a band or are you just an individual performer? I prefer to play, uh, well, usually I play alone. I use loop stations, so I use a lot of so effects, so I could, yeah, that's my band. But I also do uh, projects like uh, with other musicians. So you don't, have, you don't have to share the royalties then, right? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, is, are you going to bring your guitar or for, for post-race activities, or are you just going to run first and then let the guitar play and take care of itself? Well, obviously I will play after the race. <laughs> All right, well, hey, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And uh, we wish you the best Sunday, the Carlsbad 5000. Sandra, Alan, back to you. All right, it must be nice to be so multi-talented. Pretty good, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look that. No, I wasn't no, talking no. about you, Paul. Thanks for watching this video. I will not tell you how this race went. In my next video, I will talk about my first two years in Spain. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my music, I have three albums uh, on Spotify, which you can listen to for free. Why don't you take all of me?